Hello, this is Mrs. Sasek for our New Nation vocabulary. You should have your words sort out. You are going to be listening and learning about our new words for this unit. Make sure as you are going through the lesson that you are copying the bold letters of the definition and you are leaving your sentences blank. Thank you. So our first word is commerce. Commerce is the activity of buying and selling, especially on a large scale or trade. So if you like to go shopping, you are performing a form of commerce, buying things at the store. You also will see this on signs called commercial, very similar derivative of this word, commerce. Trade that involves the transport of goods, materials, products, and services, and people within the United States is called interstate commerce. There you see there, a lot nowadays with the internet and all of our technology, we perform a lot of commerce online. And the government actually regulates and kind of controls and monitors how people do business to make sure nobody is doing anything illegal or um, cheating customers out of a good product or service. Our next word is compromise. You've probably heard this word a lot growing up, working with other kids and other people. It is a way of reaching an agreement in which each person or group gives up something that was wanted in order to end an argument or a dispute. So, as you see in the picture there, you can see it. You ever heard people say a win win situation where everybody gets something that they want? States who had a large population and states with a small population had to compromise when creating how much power congressmen would have. We are going to, in this unit, um, learn about all sorts of compromises. As you will see, you know, after the revolution, um, people became divided again really quickly as they were trying to figure out what was the best way to take care of each other with a new government and a new country and to prevent having another type of strong king or leader who would take over and control um, everything. So meet me at halfway. You find that you probably compromise um, and do some sort of agreement every day with you know, your friends, your family, or even at school with your teachers. You meet me halfway. You know, teachers are willing to do something for you or you're willing to do something for them in return for uh, another benefit. Our next word is legislation. That is a group of laws considered to be voted on. You will also see this as legislative, legislate, legislature. These all have same meanings, similar meanings. When you hear them, they all have something to do about laws, lawmaking, or somebody or a body of people, a group of people who make laws. A new piece of legislation about cybersecurity was brought up in Congress yesterday. So that would be a um, law, potential law about um, you know, protecting the internet. And before something becomes a law, it is called a bill. Once it is signed into law by the president, the bill becomes a law or legislation. And there you see lots of bills. We are going to um, probably have the Schoolhouse Rock video on just a bill being shown at some point in our classroom. The next word is ratify. That means to approve or give formal permission to a law, contract, or agreement makes it officially legal. An amendment to the U.S. Constitution must be ratified by three-fourths of the states, either passed by the state legislatures or by state conventions. So all that means is it's an approval. When you vote on it, here is a... Um, a map of states who might have, I think this is for a, an amendment, they decided the states in purple ratified the amendment, they approved it, 
The states in yellow says not ratified, meaning they did not approve it. Our next word is federal. That relates to the central or national government. You might see federation or federalist. Um, there are over 21 million federal employees who work for the national government. So recently we had a federal shutdown um, for a couple days and so that meant everyone who worked for the national government and that's over 21 million people a good majority of them had to stay home because the Congress cannot agree on the budget and how to pay all the um, employees and how to allocate how to share the funds for all sorts of programs like the military like education um, and um, like those who work in the airports, uh, those who work in uh, helping with transportation, those who look at and see if your food is safe, all those types of people work in the government, the federal government. We're going to learn about all sorts of these departments um, throughout our unit. So you see some of them there, the Air Force, see a lot of military, the CIA, uh, Department of State, Department of Justice, the Treasury. I'm sure many of your families are very familiar with some of these agencies and departments because I'm sure you, your family are employees of these departments. Our next word is unanimous and that just means everyone agrees, all agree. Unified, united, union, these are all very similar words to unanimous and they're great synonyms to think about uh, if you're trying to remember this word about how it, what it means, all agreed. The Declaration of Independence was unanimous because everyone who was present at the Second Continental Congress agreed with it. So it's very interesting that we bring this up because I know we were doing our project we kind of had to review about how many people were very nervous to agree to the Declaration of Independence. And it took a lot of convincing to get all the delegates to unanimously agree to pass the Declaration of Independence and send it to King George III. So it was a very divided room and then it became a unified room, unanimously agreeing or ratifying the Declaration of Independence. Predominantly is our next word. And it means mainly or for the most part. So it looks like this one is already copied into your word sort. That's all right. But um, you might hear this a lot in the weather reports when the weather guy might say, oh, it's predominantly cloudy on Wednesday or it's predominantly a chance of snow. Um, it would be, yeah, there it is, the predominantly cloudy through the next four days. Here you can see this is uh, a map about um, churches in each county in our country. And you see in the south, uh, lots of red churches. And that shows that the churches in those counties are predominantly Baptist. The churches in uh, the counties that are that light blue color are predominantly Catholic. So the, most of the churches in those counties are mostly Catholic. The predominant language in Texas is English because it is the biggest uh, chunk of that pie chart, so mostly English. Okay, amend. Amend means to improve or make minor changes in text in order to make it fair and more accurate or up to date. Amendment, amendable. Every attempt to amend the Constitution took a long time. Making changes does take a lot of um, agreements and, cha and uh, compromise. So it, um, it's not an easy process, but we're going to learn about that in this unit. The next word is impose, to force or require something. The Parliament and the King had imposed taxes on Americans after the French and Indian War. And as we found out, that was not fun. That was not good. 
people did not like having things being forced on them without good reason. Sometimes you feel like your parents impose on you. Electoral college. A group of people who officially elect the President of the United States. Their vote happens after the popular vote. So you saw this two years ago, the election of our current president. When Americans vote for a president and vice president, they are actually voting for presidential electors, known collectively as the Electoral College. So each state is given a value. This is an old Electoral College map. And... Um, it's kind of like a point system. Whoever gets the most points wins in each state, and then that state's points go to that presidential candidate. The magic number is 270 electoral votes for the president to be elected. Revise. You probably see this in English. Reconsider, reexamine, reread, and make changes to improve something. We do this a lot, revising, revision, revised. The Constitutional Convention had intended to revise the Articles of Confederation, but then they decided to ditch the whole thing. So they ho were hoping to edit it, change a couple things, but they realized it was then no good, and we will get into the Constitutional Convention later in the unit. Minimum. The least or smallest amount or quality, quantity possible, attainable, or required. So a 90% is the minimum grade to get an A at our school. I have students ask me for the project, what is the minimum amount of sentences I can write for our letter? Okay, hear about the minimum requirements for keeping away from bikers in this picture, the minimum wage. Um, this is a little protest sign, seven twenty-five an hour. Some people didn't want it to go up. In some places it is. Okay, here you see the minimum size is the little cupcake. Executive. Having the power to put plans, actions, or laws into effect. So you hear about someone who's an executive, they're in charge, where they execute, not like execute, you know, and a lot of people are thinking execution, like, oh, death penalty, but it means, it could mean something else. The boss has an executive position in the company, so they are doing things, so they, people come up with an idea, and then executives find a way to put that idea into um, action. The president is an executive, so people give them all sorts of ideas for laws, idea and or they are laws that are made, and he makes sure that they are put into action, and they're put into action well and fairly. Judiciary, the judicial authorities of a country or a group of judges. Judge, justice, judicial. The state judiciary consists of a Supreme Court of six judges and a district court of 53 judges, from one to four in each of the 20 districts. Okay, so that is a court system. There's, you know, if there's a crime or disagreement, you can take it to court, and the judiciary system will determine whose side is, um, is dealt fairly or unfairly. Okay, we have divided our country into different judicial areas. Um, each area you see on the map has a different um, major court from the, ma from the federal government, and then each state has its own judiciary system. We're going to learn a little bit about that in this unit, but more in eighth grade. Currency. A system of money in general use in a particular country. The currency of Great Britain is based on the pound. It's that fancy L thing that you see there, and the green picture and in the one below on the bottom left. Okay, currency is money. Each country